In this video, I want to share with you what it's been like wearing Vessi shoes over multiple years. I got my first pair of Vessi shoes over two years ago now, and I've been wearing them non-stop. And so I wanted to share with you, how have they been holding up? Are they still waterproof? Do they get dingy? Are they faded? Do they still work? So that's what I wanted to share with you. And also watch to the end because I have a few new products that I got from them that I wanted to show you. So let's do it. <laughs> So these three shoes were the very first pairs of shoes I ever gotten from Vessi. These are their weekend shoes and these are their Chelsea shoes. The reason I got the Chelsea's is because I wanted a higher top shoe. That way it protected my foot a little better, especially in the winter time or if I'm in deeper water. I feel like these would be a little bit more suitable for that. So that's why I got these ones. And then the weekends, I felt like they looked very casual and comfortable. So that's kind of why I went with these as well. So the first question I want to answer about these shoes is, are they still waterproof after multiple years of wearing them? And the answer is yes. These things hold up great. I have no issues wearing these out in the rain, wearing these in puddles, submerging my foot underwater. These still do a great job. None of the material seem to have broken down or have gotten any cracks in them. So I literally have no water issues with any of these shoes. They all still work great when it comes to their waterproof function. The other thing that I really enjoy about these shoes is they are very comfortable, especially for wearing them so frequently and for such a long duration over multiple years they still feel like they hold up great. The bottom soles of them are still very squishy. I feel like they fit true to size. They never got whopped out or loose on me. I feel like they are a very comfortable shoe and they still work over all these years. So as far as the build quality goes and then the comfort goes, those are both a win. The one thing I'm surprised about this Chelsea pair is they look basically like brand new shoes, even though I've worn these multiple times over the years. And the reason is, is because every time I got them a little muddy or dirty, I would just spray them with water and then wipe them down with a rag. And that way they look brand new almost every time I wear them. So I was able to keep these shoes very clean. However, when it came to these white weekend shoes, these definitely got dingier over time. And this was kind of like a dilemma for me because one part of me, wanted to not wear these out when it was rainy or muddy because I didn't want to get them dirty. But then the other part of me was like, well, I have waterproof shoes, so I should be wearing them in the rain or in the dew or out on wet trails. But I was very hesitant to always wear these because I didn't want to get them dirty. And I realized that over time, the material is kind of like this cloth type texture on the outside. And that seems to just lock in the dirt a little bit more rather than this material or even like a rubber material. So this kind of cloth texture seems to trap in the dirt and it was just harder to keep them clean over time. So I did notice that with these white pair. The brown pair was a little bit easier to keep clean and that's just because I think the color hides the dirt a little bit better but these still were worn all the time. This actually became my pair of golfing shoes that I use. So every time I go out golfing, I wear these. And that's because there's always dew on the ground in the morning when you're golfing. And so I wanted a shoe that would keep my socks a lot drier. So that's why I ended up wearing these. So these did get really dirty as well, but you just don't notice it as much because it's a brown color. The next pair of shoes I got were these high top Stormburst shoes and I feel like these work great. I would mainly use these for like hiking or more adventurous activities. So when we would go on trips to like Wyoming or to South Dakota and we're walking through fields and dirt and going up all these different types of terrain, this was like my go-to pair of shoes. I feel like they have good traction on the bottom of them and they're waterproof. And I like that they just gave me a little bit more coverage around my ankle. So I feel like these have held up great. I got this kind of um, muted green look. I feel like they look really nice as well. And they just were functional. These ones I was just rough and tough on and they held up great, no issues here. The next pair of shoes I got were the Soho shoes. To me, I love the appearance of them. They look awesome. I feel like they also resemble a shoe a little bit more closely compared to the weekend. It almost looks like a neoprene sock type of design with laces kind of just stitched onto the material versus this one you feel the tongue on it. You, you just feel all the different parts of the shoe where the laces tighten up. So this one feels more like a shoe design rather than this one. It kind of feels like a hybrid type of waterproof shoe. So to me, these look more natural when you're wearing them. The one thing I would say is 
These ones fit uh, a little bit more snug than I was expecting. So I got my normal size as the weekends, but these to me fit a little bit more too tight. So these always felt like they were hugging my foot a little bit more. I would probably size up if I had to get the same exact pair of shoe again. So that is one thing I noticed with this. And one of the design features on this is the rubber part on the back started peeling up. I think that was because I would always kick my heel back into my shoe. That way it would give my toes more room. And I think by doing that, I kind of peeled up the heel on it over time. So that is one thing I noticed with these shoes is the heel peeled up and they just fit a lot more snug. The next shoes I got are their boardwalk shoes and these are awesome. I wore these a lot in the summer, especially if I'm out on the beach or on a boat. I feel like these look really nice. I was able to wear these out like if we're at a restaurant after we go swimming and stuff because they still look cool and they're just functional every time we're in like sand or where the water kind of comes up a little bit. My feet were always dry so I really appreciated that. The one thing I will say about this shoe particularly is I feel like the color is just a little bit unique. I feel like it almost kind of has a hint of purple in it or something. I was expecting it to be more of a neutral cream or a brown color, kind of like a warmer tone, but this kind of has like a purplish tone in the bright sunlight. So it's just a little bit unique, I would say, which I think just kind of threw me off a little bit. I was expecting more of a brown shoe, but uh, I still feel like it looks nice. I never had any complaints about it. It just, uh, the color for this specific shoe just looked a little bit unique. After I wore those for a while, I ended up getting the low top Stormburst, which I feel like these work great as well. Again, I use these more as like a functional shoe when I'm out hiking, I'm in trails, I'm out in the woods. I would always grab these for scenarios like that. So when I'm being more active, I tend to gravitate toward these Stormburst and I feel like they are an awesome shoe. I never have any issues with them. They're very comfortable. The one thing that I might be able to do with this shoe is size up. This one does fit me a little bit more snug as well. And I feel like one of the downfalls is uh, these shoes only come in whole sizes. So you can get eight, nine, 10, 11s. You can't do half sizes. So. That's probably why I keep saying that some of their shoes fit more snug because I got them so that they were like a size down almost. Like I'm typically wear like a eight and a half. And so I ended up getting eights for these and maybe I should have got nines and sized up. But you don't know when you're ordering online. So uh, that's the one thing I would say about these shoes is they are a little bit more snug. I uh, also have some of their socks on and these socks are also really comfortable. They held up great over the years. I've had these for like two years now. They don't have any holes in them. They, they are a little bit dirtier, I'll be honest there, but they are great and uh, super comfortable. I still wear them to this day, two year old socks. So if you're looking for some quality socks, boom. This is where it's at. All right, and one of the last things that I had from Vessi was a backpack. And I feel like this actually came in clutch for me. Because this is a waterproof backpack, I use this kind of as a camera bag. So every time I would go out on like video shoots for different clients, I would bring this and put my camera gear in here. And there were a few times I was in an outdoor shoot and it started raining and I was so glad I had this. That way none of my camera gear was ruined. Everything fit in here fine. My laptop was fine so I was really pleased with this uh, worked great the one thing I would say is I wish maybe there was a few more inside pockets to put certain things that uh, because I had all my camera gear so I had multiple small items but uh, for the most part it worked great looks nice and uh, it's waterproof so this also has been holding up good so overall yes I have been pleased with Vessi. They've never done me wrong. Their shoes hold up great. I really have no issues with any of their shoes. They're all waterproof and they all look nice. I've worn the heck out of these shoes because they're just always a go-to shoe when it's 
bad weather, and especially in Michigan, it's always raining or snowing or sleeting or back to sunny again. And I feel like these shoes are so versatile to be worn in any season that you're in. So I found myself wearing these all the time, especially in the winter. I feel like they're so nice because I don't have to wear clunky, big old snow boots. I can just wear shoes instead, and then my feet still stay warm and they stay dry. So to me, these are great if you live in a cold state like that. Um, but even in the warmer days when I was out in the water, getting some shoes like these worked awesome as well. So to me, I, I don't have any complaints. I think they work great. And uh, oh, let's show you the new stuff. Boom, right here, the brand new Tidal sneakers. These are some of the best fitting shoes that I own from Vessi at the moment. And I feel like the main reason is, is because they offer half sizes with these. So I was able to get my exact size and they fit super comfortably. This is more of an athletic shoe. I tend to wear this more when I like go to the park or playing pickleball, things like that. Uh, that's where this shoe really comes in handy because the bottom of this thing is so squishy and soft on my foot and I feel like the overall dimensions just fit, fit really nicely as well. So I'm really pleased with this one. And if I ever sweat on it, don't worry about it. It's waterproof. Boom, you're good to go. So these are, these are wicked. The shoes I have here actually aren't new, but I haven't owned them yet and I really wanted them. These are their Ulta high top shoes. These look awesome. And the main reason why I ended up picking these is because I wanted something that's a little bit warmer. As you can see, there's a bunch of like fuzzy warm material in here. And I thought that would be very useful for the winter time when it's snowing out, when it's very cold, it's negative 10 degrees out. I feel like these will be perfect for that scenario. So these to me are way lighter than any snow boot that you're going to get and they kind of come across, if your pants covers part of the top of the shoe, they look like normal shoes, but they come up higher to give you more support, more protection from the elements. So I feel like this is gonna be an awesome shoe for the winter. Even the tread on them is very thick and they just look nice. So I'm really pumped to start wearing these in the winter. And there it is, the Alta High Tops. And then I also just got this jacket from them, which I feel like it looks really sharp. I love the collar on it, and I also love the buttons. It feels like it's made out of quality materials, and yes, it's waterproof as well. And I feel like it's kind of a medium thickness, so it's not super heavy and not super warm, but it's not also super lightweight and like a windbreaker. It's kind of like in the middle of that, and I feel like it's nice. Fits good and looks good, so what else do you want? So yes, I know what you're thinking. I have way too many shoes. Uh, yeah, my wife agrees with you, but I, I really love all these shoes. I wear them all the time. It's not that I don't even wear certain ones. I feel like I rotate and wear them all the time. And especially for different occasions, they each kind of serve a different purpose in my life. I love wearing certain ones out hiking. I love other ones out in more of a public setting. And the nice thing about any other shoes is they're all waterproof, so they're all super functional. And yes, these shoes are a little bit more expensive, but they hold up. I mean, I've had these shoes for over two years now, and they're in great, obviously not these ones, but the rest of the shoes are in great condition and they still work great. So if you plan on having a shoe for a long while and you want something that works and is functional and still looks nice, then you might want to consider picking one up, but I'll put a link in the description below and uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.